Hey, real life traders from around the world. This is Jeremy Alexander Newsom with your Wednesday market update, and it's approximately 12:36 Eastern Standard Time. The trading floor is going to be open in about 24 minutes, and uh, just kind of looking at looking at a few stocks that were moving this morning. Uh, Tesla was one of our big winners, really, really big winners. I was talking about this one yesterday. We got into a bear call spread, which at this point uh, looks like it's going to expire worthless next week. Uh, this was our my do or die circle, and that we talked about it in the trading floor, and uh, well, we did not do, we died, and <laughs> kind of fell out of that, and that was uh, that gave us kind of a pretty strong bearish perspective overall. Our you know trigger for this pennant breakout was approximately 209 and some change, and as of yesterday's candle, we moved our stop down to break even, and our target was 194, and ironically this um, this morning when we gapped down, we gapped down quite far past that target. Uh, and so now some really, really good solid supports about 178 and then um, 160, you know, 156. I mean, there's some really, really good, good patterns in here. And realistically, I'm still bearish on uh, Tesla. Taking out this pivot and trapping some of these bullish traders in here really is quite a significant uh, prospect for some of the bears to continue to trade down. Looking at Tesla right now, I actually have a trade open. If I can share it with you guys, oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, so the 15 minute chart I'm looking at right now, stock traded up. So this was a retest, uh, it rolled over, and now we'll either continue to kind of do this or we'll kind of flatline for the rest of the afternoon and I'm hoping that it kind of rolls over. My bearish entry is about 189.53. My stop will be right about here and my target will be kind of the low of the day. So that's what I'm waiting for to see if that does happen on Tesla, don't know if it will, but you know, we'll see. I'll keep a close eye on it. The SPY, another really, really interesting gap down this morning. Uh, and again, yesterday we talked about it kind of retesting and uh, potentially failing. So this was a retest gap, black candle, we gapped down. If we come over here to the five minute chart, you can see that we did get some retest action uh, approximately 35 to 40 minutes after market open. Uh, right about here and sort of kind of rolling down just a little bit. So my overall thoughts on the SPY, since we didn't really take out any pivots uh, on the gap, believe it or not, is I still think we're going to get held up by this little trend line right here and uh, maybe maybe start making a big triangle type of pattern. But this is the pivot that I'm expecting to be taken out at some point. And if that does get taken out, some of the weaker bulls will exit and some of the uh, early eager bears will get in and uh, we'll actually be looking to buy it somewhere right around here. So that's kind of my trading plan, right? Expecting a lower low to shock some of the weak bulls and buy the balance if that indeed happens. So I'll be keeping a close eye on it. Uh, I do like the pattern. We could shape up to a morning star reversal pattern from here, uh, bounce a little bit higher, trade up into here, roll over again, form a big triangle pattern and then break out in February. I and mean, that's a very, very good pops possibility of that happening. The DIA, same type of thing. Um, you know, so a lot of protective puts got triggered, you know, two or three days ago, and we got a little bit of a gap down, nice little retest gap today on the DIA. QQQs, uh, exact same thing, and Apple really battling strongly uh, this support level. So I'm in my protective puts on Apple. Uh, my stop has not actually officially gotten triggered yet. It's 108.42, and we're bouncing off of this support, this gap again. Uh, it happened fourth day in a row. So here's the hour chart. And on the hourly chart, there's a very, very strong support in here. We gapped down this morning, we traded up, we began to roll over as it was a retest gap, and we're back down to that support. So if we trade in here, and then if we break that low, uh, I do anticipate some, some lower lows that come in on Apple. Uh, I'll exit my long call, I'm sorry, my long shares, and then I will hop into some, probably some more protective puts on Apple. And uh, I have a 114 covered call that I'll exit my shares and I'll just let that call be naked since it expires this week. So I'll be keeping kind of an eye on that to see how and if that plays out. But we are still really at that nice support and technically we could bounce, but if we again break below this gap, I do anticipate some, some price action potentially coming down as far as 103 and some change. Let's look at one more, Alibaba, um, BABA, and I kind of have a bracket trade on Alibaba. If we close below this particular price today uh, on Alibaba, I would be a little bit more bearish than bullish. Now, this is the fourth black candle in a row. So you can make the determination to either get in at the end of the day and or see and wait for it to retest uh, potentially tomorrow or you know sometime later on and then kind of roll over. But uh, as of right now, you know, really nice retest gap on Alibaba. 
we have a five minute chart, we can see some pretty wild retests up in here, but it did in fact uh, retest a little bit higher and kind of roll over. So I'll be keeping close eye on this one as well towards the end of the day to see how and if it does indeed play out. Um, Bob posted a request on our Real Life Trading Facebook page. Remember, if you guys want me to look at a specific stock, uh, you're more than welcome to hop over to the Real Life Trading Facebook page and post your request for me to look at it on the market review. But uh, Bob wanted to look at QIWI, which kind of reminds me of Kiwi a little bit. That's my favorite fruit. QIWI, and he's kind of asking, is this particular pattern right here um, a flag and volume is a little low. I agree. That's exactly what you said in your post. That the average volume is a tad low on the daily chart, and uh, I think so. Yes, you know this is a retest gap that happened just a few days ago. We're getting a little bit of a flag pattern potentially. We did have lower volume, and you know today we got a white candle. So let's see if we do in fact make a higher high and a higher low either today or tomorrow. Since we do have such low volume, I would kind of want a little bit of a significant volume surge to come in maybe um, over 500,000 to really kind of confirm that breakout or that bullish pop but we're definitely low and you are in that buy low sell high kind of territory on QIWI so if we make a higher high and a higher low um, I would anticipate that it could indeed continue just a tad higher so keeping an eye on a few gaps today guys this is gonna be they're gonna be good afternoon moves and uh, be keeping a close eye on them W uh, Wells Fargo being one of them and uh, you know, here's our tweezer top from just a few days ago. A lot of traders, a lot of real life traders making some mortgage payments <laughs> after that tweezer top that we continued a little bit lower and really kind of heading to the next target about 5011. But I will be excited to see if tomorrow we get a little bit of a gap up or bounce on the market after some of this bearish move, we could kind of turn into a morning star reversal. It'll be interesting to see, but great, great retest on a lot of trades today. Very, very proud of most of you guys. I lost one R earlier this morning on Bank of America, and I'll be looking to get it back in the trading floor, which starts in about 15 minutes. Hope to see you guys there. Otherwise, have a great day. I'll see you guys Friday, tomorrow. Big day for real life trading. I'll keep you guys posted. And until next time, remember, love life, live life, and trade it. See you guys later.